Good morning, everybody. I thought that I would do a video today showing Embrilliance, which is an embroidery software with an embroidery applique and how to create an SVG to cut your fabric for your appliques. So the first thing that I need to do is open up a new page. So I'm gonna say new page and here's my blank screen and I'm gonna pull in my applique pattern. So I'm gonna say open and I'm using an embroidery garden file. It's a free file called Pirate Smiley. And I now have that imported into my screen. So this is an applique file. And this is where I would have fabric in the hat and then fabric on the face. So the first thing that I'm going to do is go over and select the plus, And that's going to show me all of my steps that my embroidery machine would be doing. So the first one here, you'll see it highlight, and that is my placement stitch for my fabric. So for here, I want to cut this fabric. I'm going to create an SVG. Under my properties, I'm going to select my color and double click. And you'll see a little pop-up window, and I'm going to move it over just a little. And I'm going to select applique and applique position and here it asked me my inflate for cutting I don't want it to be zero because then it would be the exact size and there wouldn't be enough for that stitch to catch my fabric so I'm going to inflate it I believe 1.5 is what normally comes up I'm going to move it to 1.6 that seems to kind of be my sweet spot and now I'm going to save this file. And when it comes up, you can see the file type is an SVG. And you can select other formats also, like FCM would be for your scanning cut. Studio would be for silhouette. Or either one of my machines will read SVG. So I'm going to select SVG. And I'm just going to rename this Face. That way, when I'm ready to cut my face fabric, I can pull that file in. So I've renamed it, and I'm going to say Save. And I'm going to close this. So then I also want to cut the fabric for the hat. So I'm going to go down, and you could scroll through each one and kind of see the steps. And you can kind of, I'm just showing you. So I want my placement stitch here so again I've got it you can see it highlighted I'm going to double click I'm going to go to applique I'm going to go to applique position and I'm going to change my inflate to 1.6 and then say save again and this time I'm going to name it hat and again you can see that it's an SVG file and say save. So the next thing that I would do is take those files and cut my fabric and I'll do a video on that later. Thanks for watching everybody.